this video, let's take a look at how to create our project from this massing environment. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new project that we're going to use our architectural template again. And I'm actually going to go ahead before I even import the massing and set up the other levels that I need. So still in the architectural tab coming over to my datum panel, I'm going to click on my levels and I want to remain with that consistent 15 feet floor to floor and I'm just going to do the background work that I need to set up the levels that we need Now I have the six levels that I'll need. I'm going to go back to my level one floor plan and I'm just going to hit control tab and tab back to my massing. Now I'm going to come up here on the create panel and click load into project. You'll see Revit will enable the show masses mode so that you can see this massing as I import it into my level one floor plan. And I'm just going to click here and hit escape after I've placed it once. And then I'm going to highlight these elevation callouts. And I'm just going to drag them to the outside of my footprint to make sure that my elevations do in fact capture the entire elevation. Okay. Here we are. So my next step is actually to create the mass floors that I'm going to need. So I'm going to select my massing and I'm actually going to do this from a 3D view. So let me create one and select my massing again. And you'll see once I have my massing selected on the model panel, I'm going to now have the mass floor button activated. I'm going to click that and I want to add a level a mass floor for each of my levels. I'm going to click OK and now you'll see the mass floors have now been populated into my massing. The next thing I want to do because I want to get an idea of the approximate square footage for this design is I'm going to create my mass floor schedule. How do we create this schedule? We're going to come down to schedules on our project browser tree and I'm going to right click new schedule quantities. The category that we want to schedule right now is our mass floor. So we're going to come all the way down and I'm going to find you'll see that there are many other things that you can schedule but we're going to schedule for the purposes of this our floor to get an idea of the square footage it gives it a name. I'm going to change this name to conceptual mass floor schedule. Schedule building components is what we want. I'm just going to click OK. This is the next menu that it brings me to, my schedule properties menu. For us, I want us to make sure that we add the level so that we get our square footage for each level. and I want us to check for floor area. I want us to come down to our sorting and grouping tab and we're going to check grand totals. Now Revit knows that we are looking for a building total to be calculated at the end of this schedule. But Revit still doesn't know yet what to schedule. So I need to come to my formatting tab. And for floor area, when I'm going to check calculate totals. When this is selected, Revit understands that I'm looking for a grand total for my floor area column. I'm going to click OK. 
you'll see that I can actually extend the border to make sure that I capture all the information in these cells. I can, I'm going to expand my level column even a little bit. And you'll see our design as it's been imported, the mass floors that this schedule is quantifying based on, there's 117,511 square feet to this schematic design that I brought in. I hope this video has been helpful.